I'm reading our text. So to start, I'm going to write a phrase on the board. And I want you guys to think of the why and the result of doing this. is getting an A on my test. So, can anyone tell me how or or why you can get an A on your test? Emma? You study a lot before. Okay, studying. Got it. What else? How else can we get an A on our test? Paying attention in class. Okay, paying attention. Ask for one more volunteer. Why or how can you get an A on your test? Do your homework. Homework, doing your homework, so practicing. Good. So, if we got an A on our test, what do you think would happen afterwards? Angela? Your parents would be proud of you. Okay, so parents will be proud. You're going to be proud, parents. What else can happen after you get an A? You're going to be proud of yourself. Okay, proud of yourself. That's good as well. And one more. Maybe you will get some ice cream if you get an A on your test. Or you get a good grade for the semester. So those are some causes and effects for our statement here. So you could create a sentence like, I studied all night and I got an A on my test. You could say, I studied all night, got an A on my test and made my proud, and then my parents were proud. So let's look at a sentence over here. down the row 
and I'll have Anna start. Would you read the definition of cause on your vocabulary course? The reason why something happens. Okay, and then Christian, would you read the effect? What happens because of something else? And Angela, would you read the single word definition? A word that gives clues about some other information in a text. Okay, so as we saw earlier, that was our so and because. And today in our text, we will be looking at a few other signal words. Specifically, if we look at our directions, we'll be looking at since, so, because, and as a result. So, I'll help you guys. So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be reading this passage about whales, and we'll go through the entire thing and underline four sentences that have these signal words and show a cause and effect relationship. So, as an example, I will read the first sentence. So, whales are mammals, so they breathe air. So here, we would circle so as our signal word, and you guys can do that on your paper. And then we know that they are mammals, so that would be our cause. And the effect is that they have to breathe air. And so we underline that as well. And then you can see on our chart down here, you would fill out the cause is that they are mammals. Our signal word is so, and the effect is that they have to breathe air. They have a layer of fat, a moon of skin called blubber. They stay warm in the cold ocean water. They breathe through their blowholes. That's a weird word. Yeah. <laughs> By shooting air out of the blowholes. New air goes in through the blowholes too. Okay, good. And while you were reading that, did you see any other since so because or as a result? Any signal words? Yes. Where did you see that? Um, since. And in that sentence, did you see the cause that has to do and the effect for that sentence? Um, the cause would be they have a layer of fat under their skin called blubber. Okay. They have a layer of fat. And what would the effect be? They stay warm in the cold ocean water. Okay, so they stay warm in the cold ocean water. And did you see any other ones, or is that the only one you saw? That was it. Okay, perfect. Would anyone volunteer to read the second paragraph? Right. Whales don't sleep the same way humans do because they have to think about breathing. If they slept like humans do, then they would drown. Okay, and did you see any of our signal words or cause-effect relationship? Uh, because. Okay, because. And what is the cause and effect here? Um, whales don't sleep the same way as humans. Okay. And they have to think about breathing. Okay, so they don't sleep the same way because they have to think about breathing. So I want you guys to make sure you're filling out that chart, okay? Because I'll ask about it later. <laughs> So anyone want to read the last part, Angela? Whales talk to each other. Their calls are the loudest calls of any creature on the planet and as a result, travel a very far distance through the water. Okay, and did you see any cause and effect relationship here? Um, I saw the signal word as a result, or the... Which one? As a result. Oh, as a result. And what was your cause and effect? The cause is that they, their calls are the loudest calls. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Um, 
Yeah, they're called the Wadi Calls in Tutu. Okay. And what's your effect? Um, travel at the right far distance through the water. Okay. So I'll give you guys a minute to finish filling out your chart. So go ahead and do that if you feel you need um, some time to do that. with each other if you need any help filling it out if there's anything you're missing all right and now that you guys have had a chance to fill out your chart I'm gonna ask you guys if anyone was able to find the challenge at the bottom here and you can let me know the single word you found and the cause and the effect I think it's the sentence that says if they like stuff like humans do, then they would doubt. And um, the signal word is then. Okay, so yeah, it would be like an if then. And what would your cause be? Um, the cause is if they stuff like humans. Okay. And your effect? They stuff. They would drop. So that would be our cause and effect for our challenge question. And so um, just for your guys' exit ticket today, if you go to the vocabulary cards I passed out earlier, there should be a blank one. Anna's got it. You can help look at what she's doing. <laughs> and um, for that one, I'll just have you guys write down on the first line a uh, signal word that you learned today. And in the blank space in the middle, you can draw a picture that reminds you of that signal word. And at the bottom, you can create your own definition. So I'll give you guys a minute to work on that. And I'll have you guys turn that in at the end of the day to keep us 